With the ability to rotate, tip and side shift tyres, OTR tyre handlers are essential to provide our clients with fast and efficient tyre changes. As a tyre handler operator, it's crucial you complete all work according to the operational requirements in line with your state or territory regulations. At Otrico, the AURKT J006 training package gives you the knowledge and skills to correctly and safely operate a tyre handler and assess the area you intend to work in. At the start of every shift, you must complete a pre-start inspection of the tyre handler you'll be operating. Using the Otrico Tyre Handler Digital Pre-Start Form, conduct a thorough walk-around inspection of the tyre handler, checking each list item as you go. The form will ask you to report on fluid levels and leaks, including coolant, oil, grease and fuel, tyres, including rims and wheel nuts, condition of cab windows and doors, seat belt integrity, condition of lights and beacons, condition of mirrors, condition of wipers, and the tyre handler's brakes. The pre-start form will also ask you to check the reversing alarm is in working order, as well as all other communication devices. If you find a defect, it must be categorised on the form as either A, B or C. A category C defect is non-critical but should be monitored. A category B defect signals there's potential for the machinery to be damaged if operated. And a category A defect means the equipment is unsafe and must not be operated. Any defect that falls into categories A or B means you must shut down the equipment and attach an out-of-service tag. Then, immediately report the issue to your supervisor. Regular pre-start inspections will ensure each tyre handler is fit for purpose, properly maintained and above all, safe to use. Before starting any tyre handling job, you must also inspect the work area to make sure it's suitable and that any hazards have been identified and controlled. This can be done with your team during a pre-start job hazard analysis or JHA. As a group, identify any hazards in the work area that could affect tyre handler operation. Things like weather conditions, adequate lighting, other vehicle interaction, pedestrian interaction, the effect of gravity on uneven ground, crush points in confined areas, and any obstacles including overhead obstructions. Any area where a hazard is identified but can't be effectively controlled or removed means the area is unsuitable for tyre fitting work. As part of your JHA, the exact boundaries of a work area must be clear. So always use demarcation equipment such as safety cones and barriers to set up an exclusion zone. Before starting the engine of the tyre handler, you must warn others you are about to start work. A blast from the horn is usually enough of a warning. When running, check the tyre handle attachment functions are all working as they should. This includes grab and release, arm rotation, hand rotation, lift and lowering of the boom, and the tilt attachment. During a tyre or wheel fitting, always use a spotter as a guide to avoid equipment damage. The spotter should always be in a position where they can be seen by the operator and outside the exclusion zone. You and your spotter should both understand the basic hand signals to communicate effectively. These are arm out, thumb up to indicate up, arm out, thumb down to indicate down, thumb moving toward chest to indicate forward, thumb pointing away from chest to indicate back and palm out to indicate stop. At the end of a shift, always correctly park the tyre handler in the designated area and with the attachment flat in the ground. Apply the park brake and shut down the engine. Exit the machine using three points of contact and isolate it before chocking the wheels. For further information on the safe operation of tyre handlers, refer to the Otrico Tyre Handler Operating Rules poster displayed at all sites where we operate.